Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. Uh, today what I got for you is a quick little tutorial about a voltage regulator. But before we get into that, um, I just want to go over with some of the viewers out there what this channel is about. Um, I had an email from a gentleman. I don't know if he, he put a comment on a video and then he retracted it or what. But he sent me an email about my MOSFET video the other day. Uh, the MOSFET uh, basically, it's an ESP32 running through a MOSFET, running a relay to operate a larger load. And he said, D don't you understand? You don't need that MOSFET. All you have to do is run the ESP32 through the relay. Yes, I understand that. But you have to understand is that this channel is about learning. I've got probably two or three hundred subscribers in the age group of like 10 to 15 that want to learn about these different components. So it, you can run the ESP32 directly into the relay, but then you wouldn't learn about the MOSFET. Okay, that's why I included that into my um, tutorial is to give you an insight on the ESP32, the insight on a MOSFET, and an insight on a relay and, and you know how to put all of that together to get things to run. It's all about learning. It's what this channel is about. Now, I do want emails and comments. If you find something that I'm doing is dangerous, I want to hear about it. I, I have no problem with that. But um, the gentleman that got a hold of me, he wasn't rude or anything like that. He was just trying to, to you know, help me along. But it's, it's thank you very much. Um, but the thing is, is this channel is about learning. And there's kids out there that, you know, want to know about MOSFETs and all relays and whatnot. All right. But anyways, that's just to clear up that. Um, so today what I've got for you is we're going to make, you know, the bread, um, breadboards. Where's my breadboard? Right this is a real small one. All right. Like a breadboard. Okay. Some, some companies out there have those little breadboard power supplies that click right across here and then, you know, it, it powers up both rails. But say that you don't have one of those and you have a project with your ESP32 and you need power for it. Okay. Granted, yeah, you're going to plug it into your computer and, uh, you know, down upload, well, upload the um, program to the ESP32. But when you unplug it to move it to wherever your project's going to be, you need power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a real simple way to use a just a 78, 7805 voltage regulator, a 9 volt battery, and a couple other components and make yourself a power supply for your remote ESP32 just running on this battery. Alright, so that's what this is about today. It's going to be a real quick short one and uh, let's get right to it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to bring you out on the internet and I'm going to show you the pinout for a LM7805 okay that is a positive output voltage regulator if you see a 7905 that's a negative output voltage regulator well let's go right on to uh, the website and I'm going to show you the 7805 and what packages it comes in and all that all that good stuff Oop, I thought I heard the door open Hope that's not Elon Musk coming after me. All right, let's see here. Here we are, 7805, the pinout. This is what we're going to be using. We're, this is what they call a package. It comes in a package of TO220. Um, let's see. This one here is a TO92. This one here is the D part. Um, this one here just has the input, output, and then you ground it off of the tab on top. And this is a TO3 where you ground it onto the, um, I, don't, I don't know what you call it, the encapsulation or whatever. And it's got the input output. But anyways, uh, this is the one we're going to be using. All right, input is if, the, if you're looking at the um, re voltage regulator, when you're looking at the printing, the left-hand side is, we're, we're going to call this 9 volts positive in. This is the uh, 9 volt negative in, and this will be the 5 volt output. Okay, so basically, you put your battery across the in in the ground, and your output it will output 5 volts 
DC on the other side. Okay, so in, ground, and out. So now let's go and I am going to, I'm going to let you look at that for a second. Well, now nah, I'll bring it right down here. Let's go, let's go right to it. Come back here. Now, I want to get you situated on my workbench. All right, so this is, this is the breadboard we're going to use, okay? And then we got the battery. I got a battery lead. I got a voltage, um, a volt ohm meter right there. And this is going to be, this is a C. And that's going to power our, let me just unplug this over here. That's going to power our ESP32. All right, it's going to just plug it right in just like that. All right, so here's our here's our components. So what you need to do is just take your LM7805, plug it into the breadboard. I'm gonna plug in my voltage regular, I mean my volt ohm meter over here, and there's two pins on it, positive, negative. All right. Now we're gonna take the battery leads. Like I said, we're going to go and put positive into pin one, negative into the second pin, all right, and then we're going to take a jumper. Let me see if I can get a short jumper here, and we're going to power up, so let's see, what's, uh, what color do I need? Let's see, is yellow long enough, or is red? I might have to move that over a little bit to make it work. So this is the positive. So right there, positive, and that's going to go. Yeah, I got to move this over just a little bit. Let's go. Let's move it right to here. So again, this first pin is positive, and then the output of the seventy-eight oh five is that third pin over. Okay. So you got positive, negative and the positive output going to the uh, volt ohm meter now the volt ohm meter needs a ground so we're going to go from the ground of or negative or ground whatever you want to call it from the battery over to the ground of the volt ohm meter so uh, i don't have another color so i'm just going to have to use let's see if orange will work will orange stretch all the way over there no it won't all right, I'm going to have to do another red. All right, so we're going to go from here over to, and of course it doesn't reach. We'll make it reach. There. Nope. Ah, come on. <clears throat> Oof. Get in there. Did it reach? Yes. All right. So now, again, we got battery coming in, positive, negative, and then we, on the third pin over is the positive output, goes into the positive of the volt ohm meter, and the ground or negative is the center pin, goes into the ground or negative, whatever you want to call, of the volt ohm meter. So now, I'm going to give it power. And there we go. We got nine volts going in. And right here, we got five volts going out. All right. Now, what you would really want to do is you want to smooth the power coming out of this. All right. And how you do that, what, what you mean by smoothing the power is if this, this volt ohm meter was a little bit more sensitive, this thing would be fluctuating all over the place. It wouldn't be actually five volts. It'd go down to 4.98 might go up to 5.01, then go back down to 497, then go back up to 5, and then down to, you know, 499. It'd be floating all over the place if this was a little bit more sensitive. So what you want to do is you want to smooth the output of the voltage regulator um, just so it gives it smoother power to your uh, device. And how you do that is I'm going to use two... I uh, just seen it. I just had it in there. Come on, focus. 
anyways this is a 0.1 microfarad um, capacitor and it's marked 104 and what you want to do is you want to take the positive coming in all right and bring it down to this rail so positive coming in down to this rail and you want to take the positive coming out the, which is the third pin over and bring it down to the same rail then you, what you want to do is you want to ground that okay so let's grab I'm just gonna grab a one of these long ones so you want to go from ground down to uh oh I hope that eh, my computer just cramped out on me um so you want to take the ground and ground out both sides of those caps so one cap goes to pin one on the 7805 one cap goes to the uh, pin three so you know one two three pin three of the 7805 and they both come down together and then you ground them and that will smooth out the power on the output all right now let's power up our device so right here is our positive and negative so i'm just going to put in positive and negative come on get in there there we go one's right down in and i'm going to take the negative yeah there we go right down in so i'm getting po positive and negative okay off of the voltage regulator which you know where the where the input of the voltage regulator is i'm getting the positive and negative out of that and now here's my esp32 and i'm going to power it up and there we go we got a nice little um smooth power five volts going into the esp32 by using a nine volt battery a lm7805 two 104 capacitors and you're all set so again let me just try to try to simplify this a little bit more for you where, I need a piece of paper. Where's a piece of paper? Here we go. Now I need a marker. A marker, marker. So anyways, we've got the 7805 with the three pins. Um, I'm going to start all over. So <laughs> we got the battery with positive and negative then we got the 7805 with the three pins and then we got the positive and negative output so the positive of the battery goes to pin one the negative of the battery goes to pin two and the third pin of the 7805 is positive out now the output negative you derive that from the input negative of the battery, okay, or ground, however you want to say it, ground or negative. And then um, this is your output. Now, if you want to smooth out the power coming out of this, um, right here, okay, you put a capacitor to ground, and from the output, you go capacitor. To ground okay and there's your and how you get your ground it again you derive it from your negative coming off the battery and that connects connects and this is your capacitor I forgot to put in the little emblem here for capacitor anyways guys that is the long and short of it i know this is very <laughs> incorrect but you get the gist of it that's how you wire it up so positive pin one negative pin two the output is pin three you're deriving your ground or negative 
from the negative of the battery. Then you're grounding both pin one and two with two 104 capacitors to ground and you're deriving your ground from the ground of the battery. And there you go guys. I know I, I'm really bad at explaining that but um, questions, comments, leave it down below um, and I'll get back to you. And thanks for watching guys. Let's see. Hang on a second here. I just gotta all right. All right, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, delete, unsubscribe, whatever you want to do. And more to come. Maybe next time we'll do a 7905 and I'll show you a negative output voltage regulator. And maybe even we'll move on to LM's 317s, adjustable voltage regulator. See you then.